welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll be going over a pro darksea guide and in this guide you will be know you will know how to farm dark seal chests atlantean essence and stuff like that so let us begin in this one we're going to need to use a really good ship loadout so this is my ship loadout this is a guide after you've done some dark sea seals so be sure to look at all these builds and with this build with the ship build you will get a hundred percent stability 100 speed 100 re resilience and 18,000 HP this is really good and I have four speed deckhands all of them are the first tier which is four speed each so now nah, that's this that's how this works in the next update you won't be needing renown for them anyway so this is really good and you I would suggest you get a lot of cargo getting cargo is really easy now you can have whole two of them and just fill up the whole ship to the brim with cargo so that you can survive into the more further in reaches in the dark sea and there's gonna be some tricks i'm gonna show you as well so let us begin since the last clip i actually crashed while at like after loading all the cargo in but anyway after you get all the cargo in again you just you just go in the dark sea now the goal is simple you do not touch any island until you reach the first insanity range the reason for this is that you want to maximize your you have to minimize your time in the dark sea and maximize your loot and if you spend more time in like the lesser ranges like the insanity zero range there's not much loot that you can get so in this one i actually went to the insanity 2 range first like that's the first thing i did it was actually a bad idea but you'll be able to see some of the shenanigans that we went through yeah, although i said that even i couldn't resist the urge to check out an island that we just saw within the first i mean the, the zero insanity range we quickly cleared this island as fast as we could and then we just continued on our way and the fastest way to clear islands is actually a pretty ironic way to do it you want to check out the island first fully without taking the loot so you want to check out the whole place you don't take any chest you want to basically check everything out all the corners of the island all the buildings without taking any chests the dark seal chests and after the after you've done that only after you do that you take the furthest chest back and then you slowly bring back the closer ones and the closer ones and then the closest ones and then you go that is actually way faster than having to take the first one look for more take that one go back look for more it's way slower knowing where all the chests are and then taking them is just somehow way faster and if you didn't know these atlantean bosses the one that i'm fighting right now these are the ones that drop atlantean essence and if you saw my last video atlantean essence is pretty busted so if you want to farm them you want to look for these bosses it has a four percent chance of dropping it you can use luck potions i believe to make it higher i'm not entirely sure but that's how you get atlantean essence if you didn't know and the best place to farm atlantean essence is within the insanity one range not insanity zero and insanity two is just too difficult well you you'll see that soon and here as you can see i'm not going for any of the chests i'm literally just checking all the island all the buildings out first seeing if they have any bronze steel chests in it well this one does have and i'm checking going for all the chests first checking everything first and once that i know that it's, it's all clear then only do i go for the chests that's the fastest way to do it and that's how me and quick z did it and we got quite a lot of chests within two hours so be sure to look out for that in the end again we looked for three more islands through all of like the insanity zero range and they don't give much loot if any at all so we check this one it's really there's not that much there were there were like around three bosses or two bosses i can't remember but there was two bosses on this and unluckily didn't get any essence but it's a four percent chance so it's pretty rare to get anyway as well as the other the other islands just didn't really have anything like the ice one here barely had anything 
as well as another circular one which also barely had anything so insanity zero range right now doesn't really give that much if you want to profit and you want to make most of your time you want to do insanity one range i we saw this one island on here and we saw another one but again they just don't give that much stuff they just don't give anything basically This is when we fit our first Insanity 1 Island and already just from this we already hit a good amount of loot just from this place here. Yeah, it was inside the tree so I broke the tree and as you can see there were around like what 9 chests and 2 or like 7 chests and 2 sealed chests just like that. These things they spawn on higher cliffs and islands. And that was just the first circular one. There's a more insane one coming later on in the video. And that one is just, it looks, one, it looks amazing. And two, it, it was so cool to see it. After going through around in the insanity wandering for a while, we then found one of the more rarer structures in the dark sea, which is a wizard tower in between a lot and a lot of purple trees. And this was like the first time I've seen this. I've seen images of this, but I've never seen it in person. And it gives okay loot. Doesn't give that cool of us, like that super cool loot. But yeah, it's pretty 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 good there's nothing below down here i've checked it all thoroughly i have a water breathing build and a swimming speed build and it's pretty tanky and does pretty good damage so that's that's like it's perfect for dark sea really we then found another island that is actually on the edge between the insanity one and insanity two range so just by going around the island we actually went to the insanity two range which is interesting in this one there was a few bosses and we actually got a decent amount of chests like i said before the higher insanity range you go in the more chests or dark seal chests that you can get of course the enemies are much harder but that's the price you have to pay for more rewards but then of course we ran into some problem a heavy Atlantean ship these things you want to avoid at all costs no matter how many people you have on the ship they will destroy you they will destroy your ship and you and as you can see on the left our HP did not do so well as well as our ship HP so yeah this next island though is what just made us rethink our life choices in the dark sea Basically, this is an island in the Insanity 2 range. In the Insanity 2 ranges, golden cooking pots and golden brewing pots spawn. So, so if you want to go get those, you can do that. They give you double the duration, double the potency. But in this range, the Atlantean bosses are they are not soloable, nor are they like doable, because we got ganked by like two of them. Now. I, like like they I just I don't know I don't know how we got ganked but like we got ganked by NPCs and well let's just say quick died once and I survived somehow and I somehow revived him as well without dying it, it, it was just so scary we already had we almost just died to just the one guy but then we chewed a bit too much and then we had two of them on us and um as you can see 
I almost died. I got away safely, but then quick died. So then I had a master plan. I almost died again. I almost jumped back in. But what I did is I made him drop off. And then I quickly revived quick. After this, we are not going near them at all. They do 600 damage a hit. That's how much damage they do. 600 damage a hit. I tried to solo this one. I think I succeeded. Yeah, so they are soloable. Just not all the time. And, well, it, sometimes they have like a lot of HP. That one, I just threw him off. And you can see just how much, how many chests there are up there. The more deeper you in, deeper in you go into the dark sea. It's just insane. But this isn't even the most loot we get. No, that is, this is not. The next problem we had was trying to escape all three of these Atlanteans. And it wasn't easy. But we, we managed to pull it off. They started to swim towards us like for like a, a long while, but they you lose track of them fairly easily. At one point, they actually swim back, so that's cool. We then found a fortified Atlantean ship. We back we went back to the uh, the first range, Sandy Range, because we could not lose Quick or myself again, so we just went back to the first range and. The, f the fortified Atlantean ships, they're basically two free chests because they're fairly easy to kill. You can do them solo as well as they have pretty good loot. You can also have two Atlantean uh, bosses spawning on them. Those are lesser, lesser mutated ones, so they're very easy if you have the right build. They're very, very easy if you have the right build. So this was just very fast. Like, we cleared the ship very fast and we took the loot, obviously. Also, if you didn't know, they have two chests in them. Fortified has two chests, and Heavy has three. The higher up you go, the more they have. So, then there's another one which is very heavy, which is an Insanity 3 range, I believe. I've never seen one, but I don't want to see one at all, ever, at all. And they probably drop four chests, so, now you know. Ah, finally. Finally, the island that I wanted to talk about from the thumbnail. This island in the Insanity 1 range was the coolest island I've ever seen as well as it was the best island I've ever gotten. From this island alone, you can see that there's a lot of chests. Okay, we got around 8 Dark Seal chests from this one island. Okay, now this isn't exactly the thumbnail. This is actually a second one. This is the second best island of this Dark Sea expedition. There are also a lot of bosses in this, and we got just a lot of Dark Seal chests from this one like uh, island alone. It was so cool. But like I said, we got eight Dark Seal chests from this one island in the Insanity One range. So Insanity One range is just super worth it. It's just it's just worth it. It's just really worth it. It took us a while to do this one. Like it took us a really long while to clear it. But, yeah, it's just really cool. Now I think, I don't think this is the 8th one. I don't remember which one has the 8th one, but like, yeah. Also, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Just enjoy the show, I guess. <laughs> Siren Islands are very interesting. You, they used to give you four chests, but now they give you three, so they've been nerfed. And you can get the Cyan drops from them, which are pretty cool. And they're basically kind of like a three, like just free chests. They're very easy to kill, or they're very easily avoidable as well. If you're not fighting a Wind Mage one, of course. 
and you can just grab the chest and just let them attack you they don't do that much damage as well as they're very easy to just you know get rid of so basically we just got free chests and i think this is just the first one we, we saw I, got, I don't remember if there was more but yeah pretty easy to do this one i try my best to avoid big islands like this one this one it was a gigantic circular one but it gave pretty decent loot but it wasn't the best for the amount of time we've spent looking around and everything and the amount of potions i've used like revealing potions on this it wasn't worth it at all like for the amount of stuff i got back for big islands like these it i suggest like i guess just ignoring them because I don't know, like, they don't usually always give stuff, as well as, like, they're not guaranteed loot. So, you want to go for islands, which are naturally generated. Big islands, like, circular islands like these, sometimes they do have, like, a lot of bosses on them. One time I've seen five bosses on one single island on an Insanity 1 range. And, like, that was, like, really cool. But, like, at that time, I didn't have any build, any proper build. So, like... I, I like I was just I just ran away from like just one boss like, almost that one boss almost killed me so like you want to clear the whole island again first and then you bring back all the loot we only got like around four chests from like what spending 10 minutes on this one island it wasn't worth it at all as well as the the volcano actually erupted near us so we thought like hmm Maybe you should check it out, cause if it erupted, I mean, there couldn't, there, maybe there's no lava anymore. Well, it would be that there's still lava anyway, and do not jump in it, cause it's basically insta kill. So, if the ship owner jumps in it, it's done. Like it's just done. And we also ran into another Atlantean ship while they just going to another island. So we just took care of it very, very quickly and very efficiently. Didn't take much time at all. Okay, I think I lied on the last one. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the island that we got the egg chest from. This one was very difficult to get up, but it was very worth it at the end. Because in this one, I think I this is the one I got a scalded like the 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 the, the new dagger the scalded dagger I think from this one if I remember correctly I was uh, like that's that's the thing I really wanted from this update sadly it can't be used by conjurers but I have it and I have it under my name so like I'm really happy uh, I can't really remember if it is this one I don't really remember but we got a chest, eight steel chest from this, so it's a W in my book. Okay, trust me when I say this, this is the one. This is the best island that we found with the, the, the thumbnail photo, basically. It's, uh, yeah, it's just so, so, so cool. We had to climb a really high 
like a really 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 high up but it was worth it in the end because at the end we found this beauty five golden chests five silver chests five dark seal chests within one platform it was it was amazing it was spectacular and obviously i took a it took a long time staying over here just taking all the screenshots and everything it's just it was just so cool as well as there was actually another building on the side on the side of it so i just waited for a quick to get all the share all the chests and then we slowly brought back all of the dark soul chest two by two by one at the end and then we took care of the second building after this finally got to our last siren island which got us to 49 seal chests and this one was just we just went for the chests we didn't really go for the sirens i have 100 water breathing so i kind of ran out of stamina so but i'm fine because i got a second chance because you know i can just i just have 100 percent water breathing so i don't it's fine for me i went i then went back up got to the ship and we then just booked it to the finish line, which is going back to the Bronze Sea. I then counted up all the chests once again, because I, I counted up like multiple times. We just we just kept losing count. I don't know. I actually miscounted here. I was actually at, there was actually at 49 chests. We then took another island right at the end, which was an ice island in the Insanity Zero range, and from that one we got exactly one seal chest so in total we earned 50 seal chests within one hour and 45 ish minutes that is a pretty good ratio like that's a pretty pretty good ratio within like two hours and i sold everything well within two hours so within two hours we got 50 seal chests meaning that's 25 seal chests an hour so that's that's really good that's that's awesome after we got that last chest we just booked it like we didn't stop for any other island that we that found us right after we got those 50 chests four islands spawned near us like they were so tempting but quick had to go so he had he had class i think at this point so he had like we we hit the two hour mark and it was time for him to go so sayonara or adios to quickie no <laughs> then i finally hit the finish line of the bronze sea but now this is the tricky part i needed to get a luck five pot i need i don't know why it chose luck five but i needed to get one i tried trading with someone else they didn't budge so i then asked for help from my clan members and my clan friends from constellia and my clan my own clan the blazing pirates to see if anyone had a golden scale because i had nine exactly so i was just miss just, just missing that one and i didn't want to fish because i had 50 chests on board if I despawn, if I dis if I disconnect or die, it's Jover. It's so Jover. But I got it at the end, and I just waited for my friend to join. I tried giving this goober just anything, but he wouldn't budge. And a thing to note is that when you use tier five potions, you will get 
either spell scrolls like surge javelin or selino or uppercut you will get archaic war uh, i mean no you will get warship stuff as well as you will get just tier 3 scrolls the chances of tier 2 scrolls are actually very slim in luck 5 so if you want to farm powerful armored tier 2 scrolls like agile explosive enhanced virtuous all of those you actually want to use luck 4 my friend account test for nothing actually suggested me to use luck 4 after i used it but it's fine i can always farm for more and i can always make another video on this so yeah and so it began this is the loot so from 50 bronze I mean, no, from 50 dark seal chests for the luck 5 potion these are the things you get in the bottom right again you get uh, you have a higher chance if you to get second i mean tier 2 scrolls but like from from luck 4 i use luck 5 here it wasn't really good but i got a lot of surge scrolls i got three surge scrolls i got two warship and two virtuous i think as well as i got one javelin and they're worth quite a lot so that's pretty good for trading and just pretty good overall i can use them to get other stuff so that's good not only did i get these things i i don't remember what i got the scholar dagger from you guys will see it somewhere i don't i didn't see it really from all the islands i went through but from this two hour expedition i got a scarlet dagger three surge one javelin two virtuous two warship and around 5000 galleons from this one expedition but the coolest thing the coolest thing is what happened at the end also i got a lot of armor pieces from this just so you know so tier 5 also is pretty good for getting armor pieces i just i didn't know that but something amazing happened within the last three minutes of the luck and the last three minutes of the, the timer. So you can do 50 bronze seal, I mean dark seal chest within six minutes of luck. So that's, the, I had three minutes of extra luck left. I wanted to just use it all up on chests, so I didn't want to waste it. So I just went up and got them do some chests. And at the end, I also did some fishing. Some of you may already be, may already be guessing where this is heading and I'm just gonna go there slowly with the luck five and with the tier two luck fishing rod or bronze seal no bronze seal, <laughs> the bronze rod that i have within a few fishes and within the two hour mark something very special happened like something is very very special I don't know what's the chance, I don't know what's the multiplier or whatever on this, but it looks like this may be a broken strat to farm something. I'm making this as long as I can because it is actually pretty special and pretty funny. Within the two hour mark, not only did I get all of those things, the Scarlet Dagger, stuff like that, I got a flipping thing with a luck 5 potion wait for it tier 2 luck tier 2 um, bronze rod with luck wait for it okay now this one just wait for it <laughs> I forgot come on 10 seconds left. Come on. Uh oh. I just say it's like it's just, it's a, few, a few seconds off from the two hour mark. I'm really holding you guys here, huh? I got a sunken helmet. Just like that. I was freaking out. I'm like, what? I was. I'm like. 
I fished it just just in case I get something cool, but I didn't expect that, okay? And that was not even my pity. That was below the 3000 mark. So that that that's just cool. That's just awesome. That's just amazing. <laughs> Luck 5 is absolutely broken and it ran out like on the last second. But yeah. That is the pros guide to the dark sea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah. Mm, bye.